All right, people, Catfish Dave here. I'm getting a late start, traffic issues. Cost me about an hour. It's uh, already late morning. It's gonna be hot. It's almost nine o'clock already. I've lost the first three hours of the best bite, so. I'm gonna have time, uh, before it just gets too hot, I'm gonna have time to work maybe two holes so I picked the two holes, most interesting holes that are going to be close to the ramp. I'm going to work the farthest one first, and I'm going to work the one closest to the ramp towards the end of the morning. Looks like I've got a little current. I've got a lot of noise over here to my right, whatever this thingamajig is with all the barges. These types of areas I am working could put me on a good flathead or a good blue. Sometimes I fish places I'm more likely to get blues. So, but this place right here, either or, you could get anything right here. You could get a big striper right here. I'll probably suspend one and have three out. I don't have a lot of fresh bait. So anything behind the butthole, uh, normally that would be one bait, just cutting a chunk of it. But I'm going to flay everything behind the butthole just on one rod. It looks like this. I've got quite a bit of current. And by the time you put this float on there, well, this thing will kind of just swim around in the current like a fish, you know. It's a little different presentation than the old chunk piece. I'm gonna put it on there. I've caught blues this way, but this has attracted a lot of flatheads as well. Sometimes I do this. This is gonna be one of those mornings. We'll see what it catches. Everybody asks why I always land the fish on one side of the boat. Well, I'm just using one camera, and uh, I try to get it faced where I can get the takedown on the right rod but plenty of visibility over here when I am landing the fish. It's just best for video if you can see everything going on. Most of the time I will work the fish around to this side of the boat just for visibility during the video purposes. Sometimes if he's giving me a hard time or I think he's gonna get in my lines too much, I will land one on the other side just to get him in the boat. It's all about video quality and so people can see what's going on. I can land a fish on any side of the boat. Sometimes you do things a little different when you're trying to actually make a video. It's awful noisy over there. I wish they would shut that off while I'm fishing. We've been here for four minutes and so far we ain't caught jack squat. My fish finder ain't working right now. I guess it's no longer waterproof after sitting on this boat for a year and a half out in the sun. Hard thunderstorms the other day, and uh, it's like a cell phone that got wet, so. I've got it at the house sitting in rice. I'm using the Navionics on my phone app to position me where I want to be on these holes. This hole has a couple interesting sections to it. Of course, the very front of it, there's about a four foot drop off, which is kind of a hiding spot for flatheads or acts as a current break. The right side of it has a hump that comes out and slopes down. And of course, there's a current break behind it. And of course, I'm fishing the actual river ledge part of the hole with these two rods here. So this one over here is covering the left ledge. This one here is suspended right where that drops down about four foot. This one here is kind of covering a little more back into the middle of the hole. I've got this right one throughout about where that point kind of breaks off down there in that hole. So far, we've been here about eight minutes and we ain't caught jack squat. I've got maybe two hours to fish, and it's just going to be too dag blasted hot. 
It's August. I am fishing the bummer of summer. I don't know why they just don't call it bummer instead of summer. I don't like nothing about summer. Never have. Never will. Especially the first part of it, which is spawn. So you have all the miseries of summer, plus the fish being on the nest, or at least the quality ones anyway. Makes for a very trying time of year. Then when they come off the nest, down here around August, you can start catching them again, but you have a heat stroke trying. I'm not really crying, I just don't feel like dying. It's too hot out here. Man, that place is noisy over there. We've had one small bite here in 30 minutes. That's not good. Of course, a big flathead could come out of nowhere at any time if they're going to eat at this time of day. I don't know. At 10 o'clock, we're moving and going into the other hole. We don't have much morning bite left. And we will be getting into the other hole at the end of the morning bite. In my honest opinion, things are looking pretty grim. At least as far as getting numbers, maybe I can score one big fish. You never know. I got a late start, but still giving it a go. There we go. That's that old uh, flutter bait, fillet piece. It ain't much, but the skunk is out of the boat. Woo! All right, y'all, 45 minutes for one fish. I had a two hole plan, but I've got a change of plans. I don't want to keep wasting time in here. I know there's flatheads here, but if they're not going to eat, they're not going to eat. There is a barge right down river and it's being unloaded with corn. Now that's shallow. It's not in the actual channel or nothing. But I've heard a lot of stories about blue cats feeding on corn from them barges. So since they are actually unloading the barge now, I'm sure they're spilling corn. So I'm going to go spot lock either right beside or right behind that barge just for a bit, see if we can't pick up any cats feeding on corn. Hey, why not? This ain't but about 10 foot deep right here. I'll try it for a minute. Then we're gonna head on down to the deeper hole. This fish was caught on that same fillet piece that I caught the other fish on.
That fillet piece just got hit again. Uh oh, there goes the head. There goes the head. By God, we are getting some bites here. Woo! Well, we are getting frequent bites behind this corn barge. No sign of any bigger fish. We are getting up into the heat of the day. My camera's gonna wanna shut off any minute. I hate summer. I'm only going a few minutes at a time without bites. There is definitely something to do with this. No sign of any big fish. That headpiece is just too big for him. There's obviously something to this corn thing, though. I didn't even get a chance to get my other one baited up. Woo-wee! The temperature's rising fast. There is definitely more action behind this corn barge. That's just what I need right there. Some boat trying to make big waves. All right, y'all, I've had enough playing with these fish. Not seeing of anything of any size. It's pretty much too hot to video. But I sure would like to get one decent fish in this video. Summer is notorious for producing small fish around here. I'm going to give it a go in this deeper hole down here for a little bit. Right there's the barge. And right on that back corner, uh, there, there, there's a truck getting loaded with corn. It's not just a crazy bite. Uh, they're, run, they're actually unloading the front of this barge. If I could somehow get around to the front side and get right where they were actually dropping it in the water, that might increase the action. I've always heard stories of the catfish that would feed when they dropped this corn in the water. I did see an increased bite when I got here. Let's uh, head down river. 
try to get a decent fish out of this deeper hole. Here comes that stupid boat doing the same thing again. I guess that's supposed to be fun. He knocked my Gatorade over with all them big waves he's making for everybody. Well, we here, it's getting up into the bad time of day to fish. Wrong time of day to be doing this. Not impossible, there should be something down there. It's the deepest hole in this whole section of river. I'm gonna put this on for me for a while. I guess that's the healthiest fish of the day. Out of 50 foot of water, he ain't much. But I guess for this time of day and getting a late start, I'll take it. All right, people. Not a great trip, but I need those algorithms. So I'm going to upload it. I guess it's a lesson in getting to the river early. Uh, years ago, I'd bank fish off Neyland Drive. And I'd get there at night, and the bite would start around 10, 10.30. And they would bite all night long. You get a little dead spill in the, around between 4 and 6. And then once that sun come up, you would get this active bite. You'd catch fish after fish after fish up until about 9.30 and it'd slow down and you might get one more by 10.30 and then you could sit there all day and not get another fish. Summer bite, if your baits are still just sitting in one spot or like I was anchored, I believe time of day definitely makes a difference. I think in the daytime, drifting, dragging, I think you can catch fish all day long. But that style of fishing, you better be there early or you better be there late. As far as the corn, what do y'all think? I've heard that, you know. I did have a more active bite 
right behind that barge. I wasted some time there. Wasn't getting nothing big, so I left. Either way, there's a lesson in every video, even if there ain't no big fish. This is a video. There was fish in the video. That makes it a fishing video. Fixed to run into this dock. This is Catfish Day with another one. Signing out.